Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. First, we're going to go ahead and do a Becky update and I am super excited. We're going to talk about a weight loss situation type deal and Becky moving on with her life without ALR while ALR remains a bit bitter. And then we're going to go ahead and do a beauty update. It is payday. So what's the tea? What's the drama? Is she going to go back to him? Natter was in Gatineau. That sounds fishy. We'll talk all about it. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Girl Talk. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Okay, you guys, so I thought we could go ahead and start off the video by doing a Becky update. Becky has been making videos pretty consistently now. Based on her views, it would seem that content focused on her life is what is performing the best on her channel. Although she did put out a video doing a paranormal interview talking with her sister who has had an experience with the supernatural. Pretty cool stuff. You can tell that this is something that Becky really likes. Random question, but do you guys have any experiences like this? I've heard many stories stories, including ones from my own family, but I still remain skeptical. That's just me. I'm not saying anyone is lying about their experiences, as I do find listening to these recounts to be fascinating, but rather it is just my personality. I need to experience it for myself or I will continue to remain unconvinced. So let's move on to one of Becky's more recent videos, and this one was called T-Shirts, Weight, Pets, and art. Becky has done multiple videos already showing her myriad of t-shirts, and I'm just left wondering how many t-shirts do they own? She's got more novelty t-shirts than my local Hot Topic and Spencer's Gifts combined. Shout out to Spencer's Gifts. I wouldn't be who I am today without them. Well, out of all the girls that we cover on the channel, I feel like my interests most align with Baxter. All right, so let's get Roy into the weight loss. During this video, Becky clarifies that she has lost weight. This made me wonder, like, who is out here questioning it? It felt very much like a response to a negative comment. Becky says that for the longest time, she was staying at exactly 242 for months on end. She started monitoring her glucose and taking insulin once a week. And that is helping her with weight loss, although she did not expect it to. Becky is currently 228, and she says that every time she goes to a doctor, her weight is slowly but surely coming down. Becky takes us out and shows us the beautiful Kentucky countryside. I noticed that Becky likes to go outside. She likes to explore and I feel like she didn't get the opportunity to do that when she was with ALR. A lot of her time was spent taking care of Amber and Amber would constantly say how much she hates Kentucky, but she never really got out and saw what Kentucky was really about. I can only assume that some of Amber's biggest concerns were the lack of modern day conveniences that she is used to living in Lexington, which is still in Kentucky, but it's not like where she lived before. She has Uber Eats now, y'all. On Sunday night's live stream, we talked about this post from Amber Lynn on her Q&A app, the one where she is spilling tea on random people without telling their name and I can't get it out of my head what she said about person three. The T being not actually losing weight because they're trying, but losing weight because they don't have much money to spend on food. Amberlynn has further clarified this on her Q&A app by saying that we don't know this person, so sticking up for them makes us look silly. But Amber has to realize that this is going out to a much larger audience. Is she completely ignorant of the struggles that people are facing these days? with rising food prices and shortages. Ugh, it just made me so angry. Now, wrapping up today's segment on Becky, Becky returns to what I believe to be what is known as Toxic Lake in this community. But seeing it again through Becky's lens, it no longer looks quite as toxic. All right, you guys, to round out the video, I thought we would go ahead and do a beauty update. Sunday Night Foodie was going on and on about how Natter is such a narcissist and she is such an empathetic person. I'm glad that this is over for now. Relating that to something from her past, a few years ago, she watched a documentary on the mistreatment of animals in the food industry, and she came on her channel to say how much it affected her and how she was going to go full vegan. Well, that all turned out to be a big farce when she herself admitted that she was eating meat off camera the whole time. Not the same situation, but she has a habit of watching movies, documentaries, and even YouTube videos, and using that to concoct some sort of nonsense for her channel that goes on for a couple of days. Kind of like 
like Trisha Paytas. She will watch a movie and that will become her content. She recently did that with Twilight, which is innocent enough. It only becomes a problem when she does it with things like religion and wearing other people's culture as a costume. So today we are going to be discussing whether or not the cycle has been broken. The payday cycle. For the past year, Chantal has been on again, off again with her boyfriend or whatever we're calling this relationship. Anyways, she poured thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars into this relationship with Natter, and people suspect that once again, when she gets paid, Natter will attempt to butter her up, and she'll try again to get her audience to respect this relationship. You guys don't know what goes on when it's just me and him. Chantal has been adamant, though, that this time will be different. Let's take a look at this recent Community Tab post. Payday cycle is broken. Also, someone sent this to me. You are disgusting. All care remaining in my heart. Be jealous as you don't have one is gone for you. Where's the empathy? Thanks for treating me like crap over and over and over and over and over so that I finally get it now. Parasite, who will always need to suck the life out of women to survive and then hit them when you don't get your way and have them kiss your feet. Wasn't too sick paying for all those hotels for you just a few weeks ago, right? I have so much evidence to bury you, but I will keep it for when I need it in my back pocket. Knowing my whole truth makes you sweat every day. And it continues. She goes on and on about how she's so worried for Dee Dee's safety. That must be that empathy coming in clutch. But I'm going to spare you guys the rest of the details. Here is the comment that she posted along with this. I don't think FB is seeing another guy tonight. I think she's cooking for Nads and her and going motelling, which Natter hearted. And then someone replies until a few minutes ago, she was lying on her bed wasted, to which Natter replied, are you sick? Now this morning when she came on for her coffee, Bees, she clarifies this situation by saying that she cried herself to sleep thinking about him last night. And after seeing this comment, it snapped her back into reality. Chantal also spoke today about her finances, saying that her check is between $7,000 and $20,000, somewhere in between that, but it is not all hers to keep. She needs to pay some back to the government, so it seems like she is taking care of her taxes, or at least paying some of that, right? Let's talk about what she had to say last night in regards to motorcycle guy who she has been toying with. She says that MG called off of work in order to hang out with her, but she ditched him. I almost feel bad for motorcycle guy, but I don't. Do your research, moto man. She doesn't really feel the connection with him that she probably felt with Natter. She melts cheese in the microwave and just eats it like that after discussing wanting to eat healthier. Is this rock bottom? Well, no, not at all. Well, what has Natter been up to? It looks like yesterday he was fighting with some ex-mods and Monty and Gary as well. He just loves the tea, doesn't he, little gossip queen? Funnily enough, he just recently came on in a live stream saying that he is in Gatineau. That does not bode well for my Will she get back with him statistics? Although he does clarify that he is going to be heading home today at 5.30, so he will be going live later, presumably from Dee Dee's apartment and not from a motel with Chantel. Although, so my question is, did she meet up with Natter already? Or is she planning on meeting up with him now that she has money? She hasn't been live in three hours. So I guess we'll have to see where this goes. Will the payday cycle rear its head? Or is this thing finally done? She does say she's looking for more men on Tinder, so we'll see. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day, and that is, of course, comment of the day. Today's comment comes in from Megan Raquel, and this is from Girl Talk from a couple of days ago. This comment says the following, I was watching last night's shit show between Chantal Natter and Didi. Chantal needs to move on. She keeps saying the same things about them over and over and over again. She needs therapy seriously. When it comes to this situation, her fighting with Natter and Dee Dee, it is the same things over and over again. I found it interesting, her newfound empathy for Dee Dee, although every now and again she does say that she wants Dee Dee to get out of this situation and not go through what she went through. Sometimes she says that she is happy that Dee Dee is getting her karma, whatever that means. It just depends on the day of the week. But it just makes me wonder what is next for Chantel. I mean, we 
we've been saying that for months now because she's been leading us on that she is done with Natter and that she's going to be starting a new arc. We got a little tease with the motorcycle guy and her Christianity arc. Right now she's on a live stream saying that she's going to have a quiet evening. So quiet evening arc. I was expecting things to really heat up because they always do around payday. But if she is going to get back with Natter, we're going to have a couple of days of just straight up lying until the truth eventually comes out. That's how it always plays out. So she is back at home right now. I'm watching her live stream as I'm recording. She says that her and Pete's did some things. She had some errands to run with Pete's. She's not with him. So I'm going to go ahead and put my statistics at 60 40. That's probably the highest statistics that we had. 60% she's going to go back, 40% she's not. I don't think we've ever been that high on the statistics, but we'll see. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about Becky and her weight loss? Moving on without Amber while Amber remains bitter. And of course, about the foodie and Natter situation, will she go back? Gosh, help us. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>